Okay, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your review panda snapshot and system in your high level account. Uh, there are a few steps you need to take and the documentation is something we are building out. So uh, first things first, you log into your THL Experts membership site and click on Review Panda on the left hand resource tab. Once you click on that, if you have access to everything you see over here, great, you have access to Review Panda. If you don't and uh, you know, you've either paid for it or you had access to the previous version but you haven't been upgraded yet, shoot us a PM message and we will upgrade you to the newest version. Um, so once you click on Review Panda, you, this is what you'll see on your side, it's very important. Uh, the first thing you'd want to do is install the snapshot onto your high level account. So just click on the link over here and import that snapshot. Uh, next, you, what you want to do is grab this um, access key. Well, actually, you don't really need this access key. What you do need is this right here. Uh, you would want to copy this code over here. And as you see over here, step one is to add the following custom menu link to your agency level account settings. So I'm going to go to my account over here. Uh, click on settings and custom menu link. Create new. Inside here, the link title, I will be, I'll just use review panda for now. Or you know what, ORM is fine. Keep it short. Uh, for icon, mm, let's say we'll use use this one for now. Agency sidebar, not on account sidebar, and open iframe. Make sure you select all these and click on save. And once you do that, you'll see the ORM side over here. So let me click on that over here. All right, so uh, this is the ORM platform. So first things first, you can see over here that you don't, we don't have any data shake API keys over here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will log into data shake and add the API key for data shake. Let's log in. Click on review scraper API. If you haven't purchased any uh, credits, I suggest you purchase credits and you should always have an overage of credits for the accounts you're dealing with. It's about 12 bucks for 10,000 credits and in my opinion unless you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds of clients 10,000 credits will go a long way. Um, I'll go into more details about data shake credits and usage limits but for now what I need to do is grab the API key which is this right here and pop that in here. Click on update. Next um, add data shake credits. Now this option over here, the thing is, uh, we're not, we cannot grab uh, what available credits you have on data shake and post it in here. So what we need to do is, whenever you add credits onto data shake, you'll need to also add credits on the review panda system. So the review panda system knows exactly how many credits you have in data shake, and it can act accordingly. Um, so in this case, I have thirty-two thousand five twenty-one. 22,521, click on add credits, and there you go. I had 22,521. So, what will happen is every time we use credits on the Review Panda system, it will deplete these credits and it'll count for exactly what you have over here in Data Shake. You just want to use this function whenever you're adding new um, credits on uh, from Review uh, from Data Shake onto uh, Review Panda system. Uh, next would be the API key for camera tags. So you would just, you know, go to cameratag.com, create an account if you haven't done so already, and copy this API key over here. And let's pop that in here. You don't need to use camera tag. Uh, this is only if you have uh, video reviews and you have a need for video reviews. Um, and obviously the minutes uh, over here, this will be uh, used for. Um, tracking how many minutes you use for the month and based on your uh, plan that you've you've created you'd probably want to set a limit for now the, the limit set at a thousand so what will happen is if your total use for the month goes close to a thousand um, you'll or sorry if it gets past a thousand you'll get a notification on your uh, review panda system uh, next what you'd want to do is um, get a API key for your high level account so let's let's go to any sub account over here. In your case, would you? 
probably want to do is go to the sub account of your actual um, agency and grab the API key. Uh, so if I scroll down over here, I have the API key over here. I'll copy that and I'll paste that here and I'll click on update. Next, what you'd want to do is select the snapshot that you've imported, which is a review panda, and click on update. Now, this is a important, these two steps are really, really important because the API key is going to allow you to create new sub accounts. And this uh, snapshot is a snapshot we're going to be using when we're creating a sub account. So you want to make sure you select the snapshot of the um, the snapshot that you imported earlier uh, right here. Uh, it's going to be named Snapshot Review Panda. Um, and yeah, you just make, you make sure you click on update and you're good to go from there. Now let's go to your dashboard. So as you, see, uh, as you can see over here, your dashboard, you really have uh, nothing uh, set up over here. So let's go to sub accounts and let's set up a sub account. They have two options over here. One is add sub account direct and the other one is create sub account. Uh, create sub account will um, allow you to create a new sub account on uh, your high level account. Uh, so instead of creating a sub account uh, using the regular uh, setting, the, the regular uh, process in high level, you can create a sub account over here, get the snapshot loaded, and what it'll do, it, it's going to push the uh, account details onto that sub account automatically. So it's an easy way to create a sub account um, on the Review Panda system. But if you currently already have an account, you would just want to go to add sub account direct, put in the company name. It does not need to be the same company name as um, what you have on the sub account. It's just a, something to track on the side over here. The location ID, uh, the location ID will be on the URL at the top. Uh, you know, we have a little bit of a, a tooltip over here to help you out. And obviously the location API and the location API is you're just going to go to the settings page of the sub account and pop in the API, API key and click on add. This is similar to what we had previous, previously done for the agency API, but in this case it would be for your sub account. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new sub account. Test, one, two, three, test. Test Obama one 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 one. Let's try. All right, let's add that. Uh, this option over here is going to allow you to purchase a Twilio number, and this Twilio number is going to be associated to this uh, zip code or postal code. Uh, I have that unchecked for now. Let's click on that. Okay, great. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, the snapshot is loading for this account. Uh, it takes a while to load, and this is a high level thing. Um, so I would say give it about a minute or two before you start uh, configuring everything. So I'm just gonna go through uh, the options over here on the sub account level itself. So uh, this is the logo that you'd wanna upload um, whenever uh, you want to use the so on the funnel page um, each funnel page will display the logo of the account and this is where the logo gets pulled from so you want to put in the logo of your client that you wanted to show on the um, funnel page for the review funnels uh, this is the location ID of the account camera tag video length um, this is the video length for each video review uh, for camera tag. Uh, the default is at 30 seconds. Uh, allowed minutes per month. This is the uh, minutes per month that the sub account is allowed per uh, for uh, the camera tag. So in this case, uh, there are about 20 videos at 30 seconds each. Uh, that comes up to about 40 videos and uh, sorry, 20 minutes at 30 seconds each. So it comes about 40 video testimonials per month, which is more than enough for, for most people. And then use this month will, will pretty much signify exactly how much uh, was used. Uh, now webhook, um, we're not going to go into too much details about this in this video, but I'll create another video for this. 
review get frequency. This is the frequency on how many times you want to uh, pull in your reviews. Uh, you can either do one day, seven days, 15 days, or 30 days. Keep in mind each time a data sheet pulls in your reviews, it will use credits. Um, it's 10 credits for each request and um, also uh, one credit for each review it gets pulled in. Um, positive rating threshold. Uh, this you'll uh, be able to set and what what will happen is um, if you set it to four, anything four and above on your funnel page will count as a positive review and will uh, redirect your users to leave a review on a, an external channel. Anything less than four, one, two, three, uh, will uh, you know give your users a uh, form to fill out in order to you know um, send you feedback, negative feedback, or whatever it is. Uh, your review request form over here, uh, this will modify the check-in button on your sub-account to a review request form. This way, if you want to add new people onto the uh, sequence for the review uh, funnel, you would just click on that and uh, fill in the form, click on submit, and what will happen is instead of checking a client into high level, you're adding them onto the campaign and they're going to be checked into high level, but they'll also be uh, asked to leave you a review, which is a really powerful tool. And you can kind of uh, hand this off to your clients to add new uh, you know, users onto their high level account. Obviously, click on update whenever you update everything. Uh, and for this will be the callback URL. This is not required uh, for now, but I will go into more details with this later. So uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is once you have everything set up on your sub account, which will be another video, um, you'd want to click on send welcome package. When you click on send, once you click on send welcome package, that means the account has been activated and they're going they're going to be uh, set up on the uh, drip cycle to. Um, well, first off, they'll get an email uh, with all the activation links. Uh, second off, uh, your client will also receive um, monthly follow-ups to add new clients or send a CSV file in order to um, you know, upload new clients uh, so they can get more reviews. A, on the review profile setup tab, what you have over here is um, all the reviews, uh, review sites you can set up. Uh, if you want to set up any of these reviews, just click on add and from here you can just type in whatever business you want click on it and click on add profile for Facebook it's a little different you just want to add the URL over here and uh, for everyone else it's it's a little different for BBB it's the same thing it's part of URL and for each one you'll have a little description on what exactly it is you need so once you click on add source it'll add over here and it'll pull the initial um, function uh, that happens uh, whenever you add a profile it'll pull all the reviews from that specific profile so keep in mind whenever you're adding profiles it will use up credits for your data shake account because it's pulling all the initial uh, reviews and it's very important that we pull the initial reviews because uh, each subsequent review afterwards uh, will be just the new reviews um, review list will showcase all the reviews that you have for the specific sub account and uh, depending on the type of review, uh, you'll have different actions over here. If it's a direct or, or uh, video review, you can either delete it, approve it, or uh, deny it. So what will happen is if you delete it, it'll just be deleted from the system. If you deny it, you'll still have it in the system. You can review it. However, it won't show up on the widgets. If you approve the uh, re the the uh, review, what it'll do what it'll do is it, you can um, you'll be able to see these reviews on the widgets. And of course, the last tab over here is the widgets tab. Now, the widgets tab has a lot of options over here. The video capture funnel widget config, as you can see over here, um, on the funnel page of the video uh, funnel, you have a first. So you have a name field, you have an email field, but you also have a, a third field for a description or a review description or whatnot. You can change the placeholders over here and click on update and that'll change the text on that specific field and you can capture whatever it is you want on that side. Uh, now when it comes to inline uh, for, uh, widgets itself, uh, you can just click on, uh, go hover over the tooltip and it'll show a uh, image of the tooltip itself, uh, sorry, of the um, review widget itself. Uh, however, the videos, uh, the images are, are broken currently, I'll get that fixed. Um, and for the, um, 
how to uh, add these uh, review widgets onto uh, your site. I'll release a new video for that. Uh, you can exclude sources over here. So for instance, if you want to exclude Google, or if you want to exclude Facebook, you can just type it in and just select whichever one it is. If you want to show your video reviews, you click on this. If you want to show the totals, you can click on this. And this is the frequency on how frequent you want the reviews to cycle and the number of reviews to show. Um, the return URL will be uh, something we're going to be tackling in the future. For now, you can just ignore this option. And of course, click on update as soon as you change any of this. Um, and that's pretty much it for now for a quick rundown on setting up your account and the review management system. Keep in mind, I will be submitting uh, new videos uh, on a daily basis on how to use the system and for different use cases. My next video will be a video on the snapshot itself. Um, I'll go through all the funnels as well as the campaigns, how to set up the snapshot, um, how to modify the snapshot if you want to modify the snapshot, and um, I'll also uh, explain a little bit on uh, how the snapshot interacts with the review panda system. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.